So the first step is to open up your finished pawn. Uh, when you open up your finished pawn, the first thing to take a look at is find any red dimensions. Um, if you have already had a chance to fix those, this is your time to fix those red dimensions. Um, any dimensions in red means your drawing's out of spec. Um, that something's too small um, to fit the required dimensions. Remember, you can always take a look at those. Those um, correct dimensions are on the O drive underneath your pawn specs. If you don't know where that is, talk to one of your classmates and hopefully they'll be able to point you in the right direction. All right, so with this one, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to put it here in a straight on front view. And I'm going to see 0 0.0395. That's in red. That's that little nub there, that little sphere that's showing on that. 0 0.0395 is too small. That'd have to be at least 0 0.05 um, if it was sticking out 0 0.05 inches. So that's just too small of a little sphere. So I'm going to have to fix that. So I'm going to erase that out. Uh, I'm going to redraw in a sphere here. Uh, I'm going to turn on my O snap here. I'm just going to draw in exactly that same spot. Um, I had to make mine even a little bit larger than I need to. Um, actually, I'll make them a couple different diameters here, I guess. So the first one, I'm going to make a diameter of 0 0.05. Um, didn't really change that one much, but I know I'll show up and work as a 0 0.05. Um, this one here, I'm going to make it a 0 0.01. Or not 0 0.01, sorry. A 0.1. That was radius. Sorry, I'm going to retry that one. Sphere. Make that one a diameter of 0.1. And I'm going to go ahead and make this one a diameter. All right, so there we go. Um, those are in within specs now. Every other dimension on there is is good. So now I have those are within specs. You know what? To make this look a little bit better. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one in as a point one also. I can get rid of that extra one I put in there. Um, and I just put these other ones over top of those first ones that were there, and that's fine um, because they're all going to be together. All right. So now everything on this drawing is within specs. Looks good. Um, you know, honestly, um, I'm going to go ahead, yeah, I'm not, I'm going to leave, and I want you to leave yours on there, I did erase out that, that other dimension, um, I probably should have left that on there, so if you did erase out your dimension, go ahead and undo back, I know this is a long step for you guys to watch, but undo back, I'm going to go ahead and put those spheres back in there, hopefully I can do it faster this time, um, but I'm going to put those spheres back in there. Looks good. That way I'm going to know if you leave your dimensions there. And actually leave your text on there too. That way I know um, what it is that you're fixing on there. And I'm going to know that you have those actually fixed. Okay. So now, this is looking good. The next step is I need to union this thing all together. So I'm going to go UNI to union this. And I'm going to pick my entire thing to union. So there, I should have unioned this all together in one. So let's double check this and see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go move, and I'm going to move this over. Ooh. Now there's a problem. Um, I unioned it, but not all of it unioned. Um, it's still in different parts and pieces here. So I'm going to undo here, and I'm going to bring it back, and I'm going to try to figure out why. Um, first off, oh, well, I see this bottom part here. There's a reason why this bottom part of it didn't union. The reason this bottom part didn't union is it's a wireframe. Um, you can't union together a thing that's a wireframe. It's not a solid. So there is a command there that um, I've shown some of you individually, but not all of you. If you have a watertight solid, which, or sorry, a watertight water frame, or wireframe. This is a wireframe, but it's watertight, meaning that it has all those sides together and the top and the bottom surface is there. You can use a command called surf sculpt. You type S-U-R-F, and it comes up surf sculpt. You pick it. Pick a box around the thing you want to surf sculpt, which is that entire bottom um, uh, hexagon or octagon shape. No, it's hexagon. Hexagon shape there. And you're going to hit enter. And that surf sculpted it. Now that is a solid. It, it put it back together. Now, if you don't have it already watertight, surf sculpt will not work on that part of it. Um, so it's still not going to work there. Um, but hopefully you just exploded it and it kept it watertight. So now I'm going to go ahead and union this piece back together and now I'm going to select it once again with just and all I'm doing there is I'm just selecting 
hitting M for move, selecting it, and moving it to the side a little bit, seeing, oh, what what moved with it. Oh, these things did. Oh, now there's a reason why these didn't. Notice these, when I click on them, the array thing comes up. It shows me that's an array. An array is not a solid. An array is a grouping of things in an array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo back. And as you know, something that's been arrayed, you can explode it. You want to be careful because you don't want to explode everything out there because then it's going to turn those things back into a wireframe. But if you explode this, it's going to break it apart. Now you can union this all together. And now if I go move, this is all one object and it is a solid. So that, that's really what you're looking for there. All right. So now I have this thing done. I fixed this object that was out of dimensions or out of specs. I fixed this little, little wireframe. I fixed this that wouldn't union together because it was an array. Um, I think that's most of the issues you guys are going to have. Now, if you have some parts that still it won't union together, you may have to redraw some parts of this um, and make them solids. Or you just may have to leave that part of it out of your design. I don't know. You're going to have to kind of work your way through that a little bit. All right, so this is now solid. Our next step is to go to our top view. Uh, this next part, you have to be in the top view to make this work, so I'm going to go to my top view. Now, it doesn't need to be a, a view that is is the top of the object. This happens to be because I have it in the correct view, but it just has to be a view named top. Um, the command won't work if you don't do it in the top view. It's just, what, it's just the way it is. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to go to the A up here in the top left corner. We're going to go down to Export. Under Export, you hover there for a moment. It's going to come up with this. You can go over here to the bottom one, which is called Other Formats. Give that just a second to come up. Once you come up here, you're going to change it down here to a Lithography Star Period STL. Lithography Star Period STL. That one right there. About a third of the way down that list. So there. Now you need to change this to where you're going to save it at. You're going to save it on your P drive, or on the P drive. You can go to the P drive, you're going to go to O and W, you're going to go to student drawings, you're going to go to CAD 2, we're in CAD 2 now, not CAD 1 anymore, CAD 2, you're going to go to this year, 1819, you're going to go to STL, you're going to go to Pawn, soon there will be one there called Ring, and then you're going to go to whatever hour you're I'm going to go ahead and just do mine in the second hour. So I'm going to go to second hour. All right, so there it is. I'm ready to save it there. Now here, I want you to save it as your name and then Pawn. And use your first and last name there. I just put Worcester Pawn on mine. But your name and Pawn. And you're going, to, you're going to click on Save. Now when you click on Save, it's actually not going to save it, but it's going to take you back to the AutoCAD screen. It's going to give you this little pick box. This is why you had to union everything together, because now all you can do is select that one object to export. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to hit Enter, and it should have exported that out to there. Now, to double-check yourself to make sure it did it correctly, uh, what you can do is go back there to the A again, go back through all those steps, go through Export, go to Other Formats, you're going to have to follow that directory tree again, which is the P drive, ONW, Student Drawings, CAD 2, 2018 STL, Pawn, Your Hour, and oh, right there you see Worcester Pawn STL. So mine did work and mine did do it correctly. Now, here's the other little tidbit of this. If for some reason you don't have access to the P drive, something weird may go on here. It's every year there's some people that don't have. I think we got everybody fixed, but I'm not 100% sure. If you cannot get to your P drive, that's okay. Just save it to your M drive. Save it to your quarter three folder. Um, they are somewhere on your quarter three folder. And then you're going to have to tell me on Tuesday when I come back, hey, Mr. Worcester, mine didn't save there to that folder. Can you go out there and grab that? And I can go out there and grab that file for you and move it to that folder because that's where I'm going to be exporting all your pawns from is from that folder. Um, you have to have it saved there for me to export it. All right. Hopefully that's got everybody. Um, shouldn't be any real big questions there um, after this video. The biggest thing for a lot of you, <laughs> excuse me, um, biggest thing for a lot of you is you're going to be getting your drawings within specs. I know there were some of you that had 10 or 11 dimensions out of specs, so that's going to take you some time maybe. 
um, some of yours that I looked at, you just need to simplify your design. Um, get rid of a lot of that really fine detail. Um, it's even a, 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 maybe a possibility, I know there was a couple of people I made this comment, that this is a great design, it's awesome drawing, it'd be really good independent work, but not so good for a pawn. So maybe yours, you just need to redesign a pawn quickly um, here on Monday and redesign one quickly and get it exported. You're not going to have a lot of extra class time to do that. You basically have Monday to get this done and get this exported. Uh, Tuesday, we're going to be moving on with your ring project. So good luck. Um, have a great day without me. If you get all of this done, um, you can work on a little bit of independent work. And as I've told some people already, this quarter of independent work, it's, I don't care whether you want to like planes, trains, cars, or guitars, draw something as a 3D solid um, in AutoCAD. So you're going to find something that you want to draw and you want to, want to create as a 3D solid in AutoCAD. Use your skills you've been learning to do that, and that'd be awesome. All right, carry on, have fun, good luck on Monday.